Welcome back to L.A. Noir. On our previous episode, Cole Phelps is promoted to the Homicide Department and given a new partner, Rusty Galloway. Your spoiler warning is brought to you by Bikini Atoll Wildlife Safari. Bask in the warm glow of the summer sun. Their first case together, a young woman has been found beaten to death in an empty car park. The scoop on Mrs. Henry was provided by a Dick McCall, a long-time admirer of Celine. Even though he was a bit too much of a bitch to admit it while Celine was still alive. As it turned out, Celine had an argument with her husband, a Mr. Jacob Henry. After questioning Mr. Henry, things got a a little heated and Rusty pushed his buttons just a little bit too far and received a knuckle sandwich for his troubles. Afterwards, a license plate was traced to an Alonzo Mendez who was seen at the Bamba Club taking Miss Henry home. Inside Alonzo Mendez's apartment, all of the evidence was found neatly stashed in a little box in Mr. Mendez's bedroom. After a brief chase, the suspect was apprehended, but serious doubt hangs over whether or not he was the true murderer. Find out the truth, possibly, this week on L.A. Noir. The Golden Butterfly! Sponsored by Anaconda Malt Liquor. It makes you say, ooh. Side effects may include losing the will to live. Oh. Well, that was just uncalled for. Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Is that your pizza coming in? Yeah, I'll bring him. No. He's my partner, after all. What have we got? Pepperoni? <laughs> White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hats are all over it. Captain's trying to fend him off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. I think I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. Going to church doesn't make you a Christian any more than staying in the garage makes you a car. <laughs> okay, guy. Okay. Astute observation. <laughs> Let's be getting a move on then, Rusty, my son. What are you saying today, Dad? You did a decent job on the Henry case, Phelps. Right, cheers, mate. Not bad for your first time in that. Thanks, Rusty. Don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady that needs our attention. No assumptions until we see the evidence, right? Right. See, I knew you were a fast learner, Phelps. You might get along after all. Whoa! Oh, 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 sorry. So, sorry, everybody. Sorry. I just kind of damaged half the cars in the neighborhood there. Ah, here we are. Man, these press guys seem now to get boys, wind of it very, boys, very quickly. You know as much every as single I time. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy is being completed. I have two of my finest investigators on the case, fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex. Captain, aren't Winters. there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? And of Elizabeth Short for that. So you don't matter. believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world, with the greatest scientific investigators at our disposal. How can any killer continue to be? That is a bold claim. Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the city of angels. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. What do we have, Captain? He's not happy. Another woman sacrificed. 
Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. He's no happy. Great. Awful. Just awful. Detective? I and why are you standing around to bloody stare at it then if it's so awful? Oh, there's a dead woman over there. Let's sort of stand and stare at her. Okay, there's gonna be heavy censoring again. I've just I've just seen what we're about to to go up to here. Ah. Yeah, all right, Rusty, it's me, you and the censor. Gonna have a look at this one. Uh right, so what what have we got then? Uh Carruthers, hey, get get out of the way, guy. Similar remote. To what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. <laughs> All I'm saying is we got enough to do without Get reopening the case. Get sassy cool. <laughs> Talk me through it now. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. Size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, hey. I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation was the cause of death. I need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. Do you mind if I examine the body? Be my guest. Uh, doesn't know mark is very too good. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. Looks like she was tied up. It does at first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist, too. I think her watch might have been torn off. Hmm. What's this mark? A cut the ring finger. again. Fourth finger, left hand. Wedding or engagement ring, violently removed. Maybe it's a very angry magpie. The stomping angle in the Henry case, was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. All right, time to search the scene. Right, let's see what's in the old purse then. Well, we have a name. Can you run Deirdre Muller by r and I? Back in a second. That guy just hanging about, waiting to jump in. Oh ho ho, here we go! robbery, why not take the money? Detectives, r &I says a Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. Oh, that was quick. What did I tell you? Just grab the husband, take him downtown and work him over. We could have this wrapped up by lunchtime. Did he not What about not in? making assumptions and going on the evidence? I mean, the guy literally phoned in and then you're like, yeah, oh, see? All right, okay, that one's a smaller crime scene. Got everything we need. All the jewelry was taken. She had a rope around her neck and around one of her wrists and she was stomped on. What a way to start the day, eh? All right, Rusty, my son, let's get a move on to the Mola residence. Still might be some play in the boyfriend. I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. If it doesn't work out then. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough. More than enough. You shouldn't make disparaging comments about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? Oh. Well, around about my third divorce, I realized women might not be the pure angels we imagine. You're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. Oh, don't get personal. <laughs> you're a father, Cole? Then don't tell me you're I don't care. This conversation is over. Calling all cars, citizen reports, officer needs help, shots fired, officer down. Oh, I see, where are, well, well, where is, oops, what? Will you? I accidentally pressed the wrong button and, <laughs> I thought it would like pause the game for a second there, not just keep going and slam into a wall. You know what, let's do it, let's do it. Okay, so go left at the next one. Oh, I can actually get directions off them. Up ahead, you make a right. Thanks, thanks Rusty, where would I be without you? I need you to take a left at the next corner. I had no idea you could just make them do that <laughs> every single time. We're going straight here. Very chill music for all this. Oh, here we are. Calling all cars, citizen reports, officer needs help, shots fired, officer down. Don't want to. Cole and Rusty out here. Right, right, boys, what's going on? It's the hat gang. The, the Brun Hat Gang. Oh shit, that guy's just taking a shot. Get down, that mate. alleyway leads to the rear of the building, sir. The main man's here. Someone's gonna have to climb up and take him down. Someone? Definitely not me! Wait. Wait, mate. You don't know what you're up against now. Oh! No, his hat went faster. <laughs> Come on, mate. Come on. Keep, 
Keep your gun pointed up there, Rusty. Oh shit, Rusty's already bloody all the way up the building. Hold up a sec, mate. I had no idea he was off like that, man. He just ran. I'm coming! Get, get your head down. Alright. You like killing cops? Yeah, you pop out, pop out, bitch. Oh shit, I, I fucked up there. Where you going, motherfucker? Up oh, right in the ass! And again, meeting then right in the fucking bullseye. Got you working overtime there, Carruthers, eh? You'll be sick of the sight of me by the end of this year. <laughs> I only did that there because we need to get some more intuition points, as I've shown so far in this playthrough. I'm not the best. Oh shit, I didn't know it was going to do that there. Alright, fuck it. We're, we're, we're doing it. We're doing it, boys. Although it's. Can I change camera? Please. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Just me and Rusty here out on our romantic drive with a saxophone playing or whatever this is, I don't know, man. So, how, how are you feeling about things then, Rusty, my son, eh? The dream team's getting results, know what I'm saying? We are the top dogs in a homicide department. You hear about, you hear about the captain said, you know? He said he was calling in his best guys, that's me and you, oh, oh shit, know what I mean? It's definitely not gonna like totally blow up in his face the fact that he said those things about us, oh shit, sorry mate. Alright, well, we're up nearly there now. Whoop, alright. <laughs> Get this guy waiting. Hey, I'll take your lead on this one, Rusty, mate, right? Don't want you opening your gob and saying some stupid fucking... Insulting shit towards the man's wife, know what I mean? You saw what happened last time. Gooey over remorse, Jacob. Oh! Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. Uh... Thank you. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? Slight, slightly uncomfortable. Um, I mean, you're not gonna, you're not gonna tell gonna her before, before the dad comes back. Plus, is this alright that there's literally no one here but the Wayne, and we're just walking about the house? Can you, can you just do that? This doesn't pertain to the case. Are you sure? I don't know, man. We could have a munch of that. We might be able to see all the clues even clearer. Also, why is this here? Junk. Junk? It's a fucking lemon. When do lemons ever go with carrots and cucumbers, though? I'm not sure what the what the end goal was, was with that concoction. And again, the dirty dishes, man. <laughs> no, it's probably because the woman's out in the street. That's why there's dirty dishes. That guy ain't, guy ain't doing those dishes, man. <laughs> hey, listen, it's the 40s. It's this no my fault, all right? All right, what size shoes have we got here, then? Oh, that matches. It was eight last time. There's going to be a missing ring that was snatched. Elgin wristwatch. I thought it said Lady Goblin. <laughs> right, and this will be the ring. No sign of a wedding ring. Well, no. We, we, we saw what happened to it already. What you got for me? Doesn't give me anything to go on. Maybe you should try opening it. Uh, cool. Alright, cool. Never mind. I'm not sure why it... Will let me pick that up. Yes, it is a violin. Right. There really isn't much to go on at all in this house. What was this? Aha! This is what I'm looking for. Don't forget Mum's birthday on the 16th. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, uh, right, well, haven't really, other than the shoes being the same size, but, you know, that could be literally anyone. Like, you literally can't be convicted of murder because you have size 8 feet. <laughs> that's, it's not enough, man. I mean, I guess it let me pick up both shoes, and I didn't pick up both of the shoes. But they, they do look very clean, these shoes. Yes, they are both the same size. Right, I guess we just gotta go and talk to her. Right, okay then. Advice? No, no advice. I need to talk to you. Talk to the girl. Can you give me some advice, sweet lassie? Right, hen. Is this about mommy? She's pretty Daddy's fucked up. Trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. <laughs> Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? I could try. 
Right then. Uh, some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe what she had on her? Ring, watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. I mean, you would, you would know. Come on. You seem reluctant to talk about that jewelry. It's a touchy subject with Daddy. He thought she wasted too much money on her appearance. What? When's the last time you seen your mom? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. I mean, I don't have any evidence to, to the contrary, so I'm just... And did I get it wrong again? You? What the... what? Of course. Some boys offered me a ride home, but that's not the right thing to do. I must have so You were hanging around something. the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. I mean, I finally got that. I got... I, but I got the information though, so how is it wrong? <laughs> and I don't have any info to say like, ah, you wee lying cow. I know your dad's got size 8 feet, so you need to tell me the right fucking answer. I don't have anything to go off of at all. Your mom and dad uh, still pumping. What are you saying? Of course they are. I'm just going to use the intuition. I'm fucking, like, ask your community, right? There you go. Doubt that bitch. They weren't happy. I doubt they're yeah. still fucking hen. Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. And he always wore her golden butterfly. I know this is a tough time for you, Michelle. Yeah, we got one you right. Really try and help the police. police coming straight from the oh, hey! Hey, what there is. Daddy, the police are room here. Room for I'll talk to the police. Daddy, mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. Fuck that shit, cause I ain't the one. Your wife was found murdered this morning. Oh, shit. Which size shoe you wear, pal? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. Bullshit. I know, because I was sniffing your calling? shoes earlier. <laughs> Why would I lie to you at a time like this? I sold that pish, mate. I found a size 8 in the room there. Why would you lie about it? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. You know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. <laughs> yes, they go and get that dig in there, don't they? So were you here all night then? Stayed in while your wife went to go and get the wine? Yes, that's correct. There's, there's a piece of information that I have clearly missed. I, I don't know if... The, oh, that little notebook, maybe, that I picked up and he wouldn't open up, probably said in it, oh, Dad's gonna stay in and scratch his balls for the next four hours. I'm away to get fucking Michelle from school or whatever. Hold on, let me see what's in the lies. If you're right. having an affair or if there's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? Listen, you better tell me if you're shagging your secretary, mate. Don't be telling any porkies now. Oh shit, son. So why did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Okay, I went out for a while. I was I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. You just cruise around. <laughs> were, you, were you riding with the top down? Ah, just just cruising. <laughs> did you phone this in this morning? Did you? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around. She left around nine thirty. Uh, Michelle was out at dance. She called you me. Got a you got know, Didn't turn up. And you didn't report that she was missing till this morning? That's very unusual, Mr. Muller. Not to mention suspicious. Look, I I was annoyed with her. That's why I was waiting for her to come home. Why, you telling me something different? Did your wife ever go out by herself to like bars or no. brothels or that? Eh. What, are you, what are you suggesting? You suggesting my wife's loose? <laughs> now is not the time for you to be pushing me, mister. Your daughter said you were having an argument. We argued about who would pick up Michelle. I worked a full day. I wanted to come home, put my feet up. And then up. you snapped and murdered her for no gonna get her, Fisco. <laughs> He's got a real short temper, this man. So your wife went to pick her up then? Yes. I mean, we've been over this like 18 times, but yes, okay. I think you went with her, but you didn't go to the school. What really happened, Waller? You're making this stuff up. 
and I'll dare anyone to prove any different. What happened, you ball bag? You got any theories for me? The car parked by the school is kind of dark. Uh, maybe somebody jumped through there. Did you try the parking lot? Ah. Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not, that's not true, God damn it. That is true, Hugo. You're a violent man. You try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. I know about a wee golden butterfly, Hugo. You bought her that because you were a dick. She liked to spend money, all right? Dresses, uh, jewelry, her hair. It drove me goddamn crazy. Do I look like a Rockefeller? You look like a bitch. Nobody likes a cheapskate, Hugo. Getting hostile with us is a very bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on him. This is an outrage! I didn't kill my wife! Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. We should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi, check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Three, we have no evidence tying him to the crime scene. Hello? Detective! Ah, oh, here we go. Nosy neighbor. About to spread some shite. Mate, seriously, you don't see I'm walking here, huh? Take you back. Hey, hey, whoa, hey, you don't speed up when I walk in front of you, you dick. Hey, right, what? What are you saying? I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Mm, did, did you see that bitch come home? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. Oh, shit. Knew I should have bloody checked from the back. Step away from the incinerator. You bastard. Don't let him get away. Okay, but no shooting. We need this guy to make the case. Don't tell him that. Yeah, done. Yeah, there we go. I fucked up, man. He burned the evidence. Uh, why he burned his shoes? Oh no. This doesn't look good, Hugo. That does not look good, I, Hugo, I can mate. Explain the blood. Can you? Can you know? Put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the cat. Yes, sir, detective. Is there someone you can call, miss? I, I don't. What's a moment? You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family? Grandparents? Aunts or uncles? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Bakersfield and. Call her. We're gonna get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. We ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. No, I'm based on Galloway, Homicide Division, badge number 564. Oh, he's calling on him, is he? Oh. Can we get Ray Pinker and a technical services team to a house at 130 North Bonnie Bray Street? Send someone down from Juvenile Hall to look after a young lady. Got it, KGPL. Hmm. I never really got a chance to go and search this bloody school. It escalated that quickly. Why is it not letting me go? It's still it's still th there, but it won't let me set it as a destination. And also, it's highlighting... I'm surprised, you know. I didn't make the husband for it. Always oh, make the husband. He's got something against every husband. Can I... Can I use this? Why is it marking it for me? I can't use it. Wait, never mind that. Never mind. Lex Parsimonii. What? Occam's Razor. Simplest explanation is most likely the correct one. No, you could have said that without getting all liturgical on me. I'll try to dumb things down from now on. Appreciate it. Try this one on the sides. Rusty's razor. How's that go? You blame the guy that's banging her. Ah, of course. Famous Lex Ignoramus. Closes cases, Cole. Puts a lot of people away that way. All units, officer detail. Two eleven and shots fired. Any central unit of possible two eight. Eleven K to KGBL. We'll take the two eighty eight. Go ahead with the further. Apprehend Walker. 
Belmont High School. Oh shit. Oh no, we're right next to it. Let's go. Let's do it. There's someone creeping around in the bushes. Could be Paddy Strongjaw. He's known for that. Whoop. I nah, didn't like the look of that lamp post anyway. Alright, here we are. Let's hope we didn't just scare them off. Unveiling, Emmy. It's the first season since Fabergrashing's over. We have to go. I told you, I can't Saturday. I'm busy. Busy where? You're going on another drive with Davy Gardner, aren't you? So what if I am? Go, Phil. Oh, he just ran. He saw us somehow. Hey, come here, you. You creepy bastard. Oh, you don't stand a chance out in the field with a gold Phelps Meister. Mate, fucking get back here. Mate, you, you just... I give him one for you, alright mate, no, no problem. Come back here, you creepy fuck. I said I will stick a slug in your fucking arse, mate. Always into a bloody alleyway. Come on, come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Like a Terminator, man, you ain't getting away from me. Don't forget, if you're enjoying the video, hit that like button. Mmm, yes. Car 11K, car 11K, come in. 11K, go ahead. 11K, see the janitor. A green 1946 coupe registered to a Mrs. Hugo Moeller has been found in the parking lot adjoining the Belmont High School and playing field. 11K, code 2. If, the, if this is like somehow our guy. What's your name? Who's that? Then what was, the, what was he burning shoes covered in blood for? What was he doing? Stomping mole rats? Name's Eli Rooney. <laughs> You've been in trouble with the law before, Eli? Some. What are you doing around here? I like to keep an eye on the children. Strictly paternal? Uh, is it please don't. Don't sass me, boy. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. And I would love to make you for that, you loki motherfucker. Well, I wouldn't know nothing about that. A woman, you say? I like him a little younger than that. Turn what? Your You're talking to Eli. the police here, you Why fucking would I do that? creepy I'm weirdo? I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. <laughs> Oh shit. You're under arrest, Eli. You're in very deep trouble. Get some backup down here, Rusty. Hmm. We need to get this one downtown and into this a one's cell. taking a few different times. I'll tell them we got a kitty for coming in. They can roll out the red Jesus carpet. Christ. I mean, with this one, it's a bit more justified calling him that. Rather than the last time where you threatened just a, a random guy with, with that. Or I'll take you back to the cells and tell the whole station you're a child molester. What? What? Okay, okay. I hear you. What? Just because he looked like one. <laughs> Time did you see them park a motor, mate? Late last night, after school social, maybe 1 a.m. I've been mean, keeping a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. <laughs> Eli Rooney. We've met him. Filthy son of a bitch. He was here yesterday before the dance. Was it him you saw park the car? I don't know, sir. I'd like to say yes, but the truth is it was pretty dark. Would you say Rooney is violent? Yes, sir. I would say so. Yes. Thanks for your help. All right. Uh, let's canvas the area. Let's see what's in the book. What you got for me? Oh, okay. Very convenient. All of the things involved in the murder. Blood and skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out here. Ray Pinker? Have we seen him before? Don't be the all overalls are stenciled. Eight grabbing all that. Muller is a mechanic. I wonder what Eli does for a living. It's from a Chrysler. Could be important. So you're gonna turn out that that there is the murder weapon for the last case. So we know that they're now both connected or whatever. Anything inside the car? No. Right, any messages for me? Don't need to tell you. You fucking know who this is. How can I help, detective? Aye. Right, get, get us a couple interrogation set up for the ball bags that I hold in earlier, alright? Certainly, detective. I'll get in touch with the watch commander. Right. No bother heading. Catch you later. I say we make Rooney for this. I think we should lay it on him. He was near the car, he had her jewelry, the DA will love him for it. Even if he didn't do it? Who cares whether he did it? You have kids, Phelps? Yeah, we already spoke he about this. He needs to be taken permanently out of harm's way. And we let Muller slide? For a while. He gets a free pass from him. Just because you found an even worse person? I don't know about it. My gut says Muller. We caught him trying to destroy evidence in his backyard. And that was his car with the bloody tools in it. I never said it wasn't. Hell, he probably killed his wife. He probably that poor kid of a mother. 
but he's not an immediate danger to You've changed your chin, man. Rooney's a threat to every kid at the He's a peeper wrestler. We can pick him up for something else. Will he want to run that risk? Why don't we just fucking take him out into the desert, fuck's sake? Do Old West style. Fuck the courts and all that stuff, man. Or even better, why don't we just chop his horns off? See if we can still feel him the up with his stumps. Alright, let's go and uh, pay a wee visit to Carruthers. Oh. I have taken a wrong turn. Oops. You got a tail light out there, hen. Better get that scene too. Alright, here we are at the morgue. Let's see what he's saying and then we can go and interrogate our suspects. Hold on a second, did he just have a mortal? Wait there, Rusty mate, I need to see what this mortal is. Come to me, all you who are weary, weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Oh, it's a Bible quote. Mate, you're a morgue, man, you don't need a slogan. People don't come to you because you're the best, they come to you because they're fucking deep. Right, let's get in there. Where are we going then? Viewing gallery. I mean, it's corpses. Phelps, well, Rusty, right. thanks for coming. Can Sounding. you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. That's why I asked, Cause yes. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Take a look at the samples on the bench. Let's see then. What are the normal uses for that kind of rope? On boats, mooring lines. Correct. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. Churches, eh? So are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister? Well, in my experience, sailors seem to have the greater libido. Was Mrs. Muller criminally attacked? No external or internal traces of semen. Thanks, Mal. Anything else comes up, you let us know. What, what about this? What, what, what am I looking at here? Oh, the shoes, the shoes, oh, okay. They were defo size eights. You getting in the fridge for me? Ah, wait, has he got cakes in there? Oh, looks like Petri dishes. I thought he was just keeping cakes in his... in his fridge. What about you, mate? Where were you last night? Ah, I've got my eye on you, pal. Right, let's get back to the station, old Jean. Got some perps to interview. That's not exactly the happiest of places, the coroner's office. Carruthers is a good man. Professional. Diligent. If you're working with a pro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. Funny job, that. Coroners. How so? No, you don't want them enjoying their work too much. The wrong kind of man can get off his lonely when you're rattling around a joint full of corpses. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulps. You've been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. You know, if I close one eye and squint, you can just about make out the print. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we need intuition points. So let's go, let's do it. Even though I was already here, I'm gonna go and get an intuition point. So I've been struggling with the interviews. Alright, here we are. The dream team have arrived. Oh, it's stopping me really far away. What's going on here? Stop what you're doing! Ah, shit. Oh, it's a brawl? Okay. Off for some of the rough stuff, are you? Is this how you want to do it, boys, eh? Is this how you want to do it? Come on, then. Oh, shit. Well, I'll hit you right back, pal. That's it. Fucking jam. Oh, my God. <laughs> right in the fucking temple, man. Right, you want some? Oh, oh Rusty. Well done. Right. You had loads of time to get out of there, guy. He's... He's boosting. Get back here. Oh, shit. Looks like it's just me. Rusty's decided to chase the van on foot. Good luck with that. These people! Stop it, you bastard! I'm getting it outrun by this thing, surely. Oh my god, oh my god. Ah oh shit, ah oh shit, ah oh shit. Okay, go, 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 go. Shift it, shift it. I'm losing him. Shit. Oh shit. Oh, good thing he's driving a big piece of shit van. No. 
almost had me. Oh! Oh, we had the whole roadblock set up for him, man. That was rapid. Wait, fly. Oh! Hey! Is this is that one of yours? Whoa, shit! Jesus Christ! Double strike. Yeah, that's right. Bet you better get your hands up. Put your hands in the air! Frank Morgan? Yeah. Yeah, look, it was Harry's idea to boost the truck full of fishes, not mine. I was in the bar late talking, and we... Save it. You two idiots can say hello to Adrian for me. Oh, God damn it. You better not go soft on me in here, Phelps. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Let him do it. Soft? Do you, you don't... You do not know me, Rusty? Me? Are they ready? Bowlers in two and the perverts in one. Get in there and get a conviction. They really want the Captain Dutty guy getting uh, done right away. We're on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, folks, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. I have tried to reaffirm what about you, the wrathful and terrible God. Whichever <laughs> way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with him. Well, you look like shit. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? So, are you having a shite time of it recently? I had worse. My family ate roadkill during the dust bowl. Do you actually have a job? Like an actual employer? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. You better not be lying to me, you slimy wee cretin. Hell, I ain't lying. That ain't worth lying, though. Does this place you work in have a name, bitch? Hennessy Marine. You can't misplace big yellow letters HM out for. Did they give you any work clothes? Sure. Green coverall. Dang thing was hot, fella got us back in the pen wearing it. You ever tied up any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them, you weirdo? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talking about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you! See what I mean? <laughs> Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. Farm boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping, am I right? I prefer braid, tie hitching braid, it stays tied. You killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. I ain't done nothing like that. You're a liar, Eli. You needed the money, so you killed her. You I've been didn't steal the money, son. you know that. You got some evidence that proves I stole that butterfly from that woman? Uh, I mean, the fact that... The fact you have it... I... I mean, yeah. Nothing no. personal. I'm just doing the fact my job. that they specifically said that. that it can't be that, surely. You have no job and nowhere to live by the smell of things, and you need money. <laughs> You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car coming to the parking lot late last night. Man got changed there and put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight, and he strolled out. Cool as you like. And I went over and I picked it up. Okay. You're as All good right. as done, Mr. Rooney. All it will take now is some paperwork. <laughs> My money, Hugo Muller's our number one suspect. The evidence is solid. Right then, let's get stuck into him. One thing I find weird about that guy, though, is that we, like, walked up to him, we're like, Hey, what are you doing, creepy guy? And he essentially turned around and he's like, Hey, guys, uh, I didn't do that, I just fucked children. You're like, what? 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 Like, that's not, you don't, you don't, what? What? Not only are you a fucking creepy weirdo prick, you fucking are a stupid creepy weirdo prick. Here's where we stand, Hugh. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send She's you to death row. Right and down. all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. What the fuck were you doing burning your shoes, mate? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Don't. 
Are you going to tell me what I want to know? Or do we have to take it out of you in lumps? Give it your best shot. I can take whatever you're throwing. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. Your wife was strangled with a braided rope, which we found in the trunk of her car. I think you bought that rope specifically to strangle her. You can think whatever you want. But that rope has nothing to do with me. My wife is... God damn it. Him here. But, uh, so am I. What am I going to do without her? And you. <sighs> you heartless bastard. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. All right. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. Again, like, I don't have any other evidence other than them being there. But then when I question him, he says already that they were there. And then he offers an explanation as to why they're there. And then all I have is like, well... They were there, though. I don't have any other evidence that's going to say, oh, well, they're there because of this reason or that reason. It just... All I have is some bloody overalls with your name on it, man. I'm not sure what else I'm supposed to say to that, other than, uh, overalls. But I did that last time, and it was fucking wrong. So... Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. Doubt? Do we just go doubt? Doubt. It Fuck was you, you, Hugo. I'm oh, offering my you a God. chance to come clean I should just this. use the intuition. For the last time, I did not... Hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. Okay, we're just gonna do the intuition. We're just gonna do it. Oh, it's a tire You're iron. You're lying, isn't Hugo. It? You're gonna have to come clean up. No, I can't do it with it. <laughs> I should have done that. Well, I'm just. I mean, the tire iron is there. Your wife drove a Chevrolet, Hugo. What make of car do you drive? A Chrysler Airflow. So I guess that explains why the tire iron that killed your wife came from a Chrysler. Wow, you, you own a tire iron, it was definitely you. See, can I leave the interrogation and come back? Or is it just like, I gotta do it now? I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave interrogation. I'm gonna leave interrogation. Hey, fuck you! <laughs> Who was that? Wait, <laughs> hey, hold on, hold on, let's, let's, let's meet out in the corridor here. Come here, Rusty, come here, come here, right? What should we do? What do you think? My money, Hugo Muller's our number one suspect. The evidence is solid. I think it's time we hit him with it. I mean, we Where, literally just did the interview, and out. that's not the case at all. But, but I'm you, know what, man? Hey, you know what, man? Hugo bitch. Muller, I'm charging you with the murder of your wife. You'll be arraigned and taken before a grand jury. Book him, Rusty. With pleasure. To say I'm disappointed. Uh oh. I stood in front of a troop of reporters and made promises. Promises of swift and fearful retribution, and you bring me an armful of vagary and happenstance. You made the department look bad, lad. Do it again, and your career as a policeman will come to an abrupt and ignominious end. That's you two are back on the streets. Find street criminals, rouse them, beat them, and restore some fervor to your police work. The next case will come when you've revived my faith in your abilities. Now get out of here! Oh, okay. Well, he's, he's definitely not happy, Rusty. Well, that could have gone better. We found all the clues and fucked up all the questions. Ah. Uh, well, we've just orphaned that poor kid. Uh. Whoops. <laughs> Things are not adding up. The bodies keep on piling high, and the captain is not happy. Find out the fate of our dream team next time on Ellen
Oh, hey! <laughs>